Jane. Yes. Can I borrow you? Uh, Luke isn't in this week, and I want you to help me make a present for him. You can borrow me back. if you give me back after. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Yay. Show of the weekend. 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 Okay, Jane. Yes. Our new adventures in the city of Osport have started on Outside Extra. And Luke is our brave games master, or GM, or DM, depending on what game you like. He's playing. a genetically modified. Yes, he games is a GM master. games master. Yeah. Now Luke's put a lot of work into this, and I'd love to pay him back for all of the fun that we've had in the new series. Okay. So there's lots of great episodes that you, lovely folks at home, can catch the premieres Blades in of. The dark, get involved. Every Friday at 8 p.m. UK time, you can watch the premiere, or you can watch it in your own time. You should join the Weekly premiere. Weekly episodes really coming Weekly to episodes your internet, going straight to your if you like D and D, ears. you'll yes. love Blades in the Dark, and if you don't like D and D, you will also love Blades in the Dark. Because it's so not D and D. Get involved with Blades in the Dark. They're mm -hmm. feature length. They're yes, feature, they are feature length. Says length. producer John, and he should know because he edits them. Yes, beautifully edited, might I say, yep. producer John. Thank yep. you, very you know, much. what are you watching now? Nothing. Stranger Things it's finished. It's done. Now's the time to get involved with Blades in the Dark. Mm -hmm. Brought to you by Ox Venture. <laughs> anyway, uh, but I thought we'd what make What are you making for Luke? We, so, uh, well, the thing is, seeing as he never got okay. to play as never a cake. lovely oh, crim yeah. in our gangs, okay. doing lovely crimes, I thought his present could be us creating a character for him okay. uh, with absolutely zero input from him, which is just what you want. That's really how you love to make a character. That's how you love to make a character that you have to stick with. I have said to him, I've made a very loose promise of maybe one day I'll learn how to GM and then he can play with one of us. And that's a loose well. promise. That's a very loose, loose promise. So you, you promise. can collect on that. So, yeah. <laughs> that's worth the air it's written on. I've got the uh, character creation rules in front of me mm -hmm. and uh, I'm going to follow the steps and create a nice little character for Luke. Okay. So, step number one is choose a playbook. Okay, so, your playbook represents your character's reputation in the underworld, their special abilities, and how it's they your class. advance. It's, it's your class. 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 Some of the main ones, a cutter, which I believe Zilla is a cutter, a dangerous and intimidating fighter, the hound, a deadly sharpshooter and tracker, the leech, a saboteur and technician, the lurk, a stealthy infiltrator and burglar, a slide, a subtle manipulator and spy, the spider, a devious mastermind, and the whisper, an arcane adept and channeler, which is what well, yeah. is. So which do you think we should make Luke play? And the thing is, mm. if you're not sure, if you can't decide, mm. I do have here a dice tray made by viewer Vincent. Thanks, uh, Vincent. Thank you so much, Vincent. And I've got I've got some dice, so we can we can roll for his character. You okay? Did the dice tray into you? <laughs> Thanks, Vincent. It's quality craftsmanship, handmade made made. by Vincent and signed by him, I believe, as well at the bottom. There he is. There it is, thanks Vincent. All right, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. So, so we're gonna randomly use... generate a character for Luke. Yeah, Okay. Be fun. So let's use a D8. Okay. And if we get an eight, we roll again. Okay, Would go. Like to roll? All right, all right, Luke. Get ready to play as, oh, it's a one. It's a critical it's a loss. It's a cutter. <laughs> You're gonna be a violent sort. So heritage, where is this new character gonna come from? Is it Acherus? The Dagger Isles, Eruvia, Severos, Skloven, or Tychoros, which I mm. hope I've said all of those names right. Mm. I might not have. Lilith's from Tychoros, right? Yes, that's where Lilith is from. Just the, from the, it's all up the here. Warmer climbs, yep. that is. Give me a D6. D6. All right, Luke. Get ready for your cutter from six. Tychoros. Tychoros. It's a Tychorosian cutter. This works out pretty well, actually, because right. then if if Lilith has to be out of the game for me to run it, right. then uh, she's she's cool. You still got some friends. Tychorosian yeah, representation. Yeah, exactly. On the crew. Exactly. Okay, cool. Now we've got to choose a background. Are they an academic? Are they labour? Are they law? Law with an R E or a L A W. L A W. Oh, okay. So it's like um, kind of fighting lawyer. So, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trade. Military or noble, so I believe Barnaby or Underworld. Is or Underworld. Oh Don't my gosh! Don't forget Underworld. Don't the forget best Underworld. And coolest that's background. the best one. That's where all the vampires. <laughs> right. How many have we got? So I think that's seven. So roll the D eight right. again. Because there's no such thing as a D seven. Sadly not. That's dice for you. 
Uh, five. What's okay. that? Military. Mm, a soldier. An actual a soldier. Cutter from the military. Oh, that actually is quite a good. That's quite a good one. Maybe a, a Tycharosian fighter who's gone AWOL to do crimes. Yes. Next up, we've got to decide where to put the action dots. Characters have insight, prowess, and resolve. When you're first putting in, you can put four action dots in. But each of those qualities has has like a subset yes. of skills, right? So insight is hunt, study, survey, or tinker. And prowess is finesse, prowl, skirmish, wrecking. And then resolve is a tune, which is what I do as a whisper, is like, can I talk to ghosts? Command, consort, and then sway is, can you can I get people on your side? So we've got to assign four action dots. Okay. No action may begin with a rating higher than two during character creation. Sure. So the cutter as we has know. two in skirmish already. Mm, mm, so we can't mm. put two in skirmish. And so we're maxed out one. on fighting skill yeah. already. Yeah. But we could we could add to wreck. We can make give that character a little bit of finesse, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or give them a little bit of insight in things. So if they're a military person, maybe they want to, you know. I think have Luke a likes to have fun. What would be fun for Luke? Mm -hmm. Question mark. Question mark. Well, Dob likes to do backflips. Yes. So I think definitely one in finesse. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, Are we sort of creating like a pseudo Dob? Not, not exactly, but give him the option of being able to do something okay. a bit silly with the okay. character. Okay. Okay. So, so finesse think... is like an agility thing but also a dexterity thing yeah. in my interpretation yeah I reckon a wreck maybe one in wreck okay I think a destructive force and, and then, then two more two more maybe something as a military person there would be some kind of insight to things so I think maybe a study I think study really? is quite maybe, maybe. Well, like an academic. What do you reckon? Uh, as a cutter, as someone who plays a cutter. Well, I like a destructive cutter, but I don't know if like a sol soldier type would mm -hmm. be in that same vein. I guess in in the sort of category of insight. Mm -hmm. Hunt, study, survey, tinker. Survey can be quite useful because it's kind of like investigate. Yeah, and you've got you've got to like you know, when you're making battlefield situational plans, awareness. So shove one in survey. Okay. And then one more. Should we just put another one in wreck or another one in finesse? Well, or maybe consort. Uh, mm. Or command. Make them very commanding. Make I mean, if they're a if they're a ranking officer, but I don't I don't see them as a ranking officer. So mm. I think you should put another one in finesse. Finesse for another more backflips. For more backflips. There <laughs> we go. So the next one is choose a special ability. So in in the grey column in the middle of the character sheet, there are some special things. So the cutter has Battleborn, not the failed video game, but they may expend uh, special armor to reduce harm or push yourself uh, during a fight. Bodyguard, you can protect a teammate and take extra dice for your resistance roll. There's Ghost Fighter. You may imbue your hands, melee weapons or tools with spirit energy. You gain potency in combat versus the supernatural. You may grapple with spirits to restrain and capture them so you can punch ghosts. That sounds really that fun. That sounds really fun. Mm, uh, like that. Leader, when you command a cohort in combat, they continue to fight when they would otherwise break. The mule, your load limits are higher so you can carry more. Not to be trifled with, you can push yourself to do one of the following. Perform a feat, a physical force that verges on the superhuman, or engage a small gang on equal footing in close combat. Savage, when you unleash physical violence, it's especially frightening. When you command a frightened target, it, use an extra dice to give yourself a higher chance of succeeding. And Vigorous, you recover from harm faster, permanently fill in one of your healing clock segments. So that's, healing is really quite difficult in this game. because you only Ghost punching, the end. ghost punching. But I don't know, <laughs> ghost punching. Ghost punching. Ghost I don't know punching. why you kept reading, Ellen. Ghost punching. Yeah, <laughs> ghost fighter. There we go. Okay. Choose a close friend and a rival. So you have a list of names on each sheet and you have various people that you can make them or you your can friend make your own. or your enemy. Or you can make your own up as well. This is just a guide. It's someone so we'll you can by... call on as a sort of resource. Yes. And then there's someone who's probably out to get you in the world of Blades in the Dark. Yeah, so the ones that are suggested on the cutter sheet are Marlene, a pugilist, Chael, a vicious thug, Mercy, a cold killer, Grace, an extortionist, or Sawtooth, a physica. Physica? Doctor. 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 Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm kind of drawn to Mercy and Grace. 
Why is that? Because cold killer and extortionist, I think they're quite fun. Um, they're going to be your friends? So one will be a friend, one will be an enemy. Oh, okay. All right. I think cold killer is a friend. Yeah, I'd yeah. rather. If there's going to be a cold killer in my life, I'd rather they were my friend yeah, 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 than my yeah. enemy. So who's our, who's, our, who's our enemy? Grace. Yeah, I think who's Grace, Grace is an extortionist. Eh, Trying yeah. to extort, the, extort Luke's yeah. character You can't the extort what I don't have. If I start with no gold, yeah, that's what are you going to do, Grace? Yeah, okay. Good luck. All right, there we go. All right, all right. Next one. Choose your vice. Pick a preferred type of vice, detail it with a short description, and indicate the name and location of your vice purveyor. Everyone in Blades in the Dark so, has a vice, so, and it's yeah. how they reduce stress by indulging in it. Yeah. But also, you can overindulge, and that's bad, bad times. Very bad times. So but you, you get to pick a vice, so that's fun. Yeah. So you get stress from doing various things during the game. We will not go into details, don't worry. <laughs> Watch our series, and you'll find out what happens. But vices are, there's faith, your dedication, to an unseen power, forgotten god, ancestor, etc. Hardly seems like a vice, but okay. Mm -hmm. Go on. Gambling, you crave games of chance, betting on sporting events, etc. Luxury, expensive and or ostentatious oh, displays yeah. of opulence. The best vice. Ooh. Obligation, you're devoted to a family, a cause, a charity, etc. Pleasure uh, is gratification from lovers, food, drink, drugs, art, theatre, etc. So, the sexy vice. Sexy vice. But although Lilith says she likes to go to the theatre to watch uh, crime dramas. That's oh, really? Yeah. Okay, just can't get enough of those murder Yeah, I need drugs. those murder mysteries. Stupid. Before there were murder podcasts. Was... <laughs> yeah, true crime theatre. True theater. crime theatrical <laughs> revenues. Okay. Stupid, you seek oblivion in the abuse of drugs, drink, excess, getting beaten to a pulp in the fighting pits, etc. So Zilla goes and does a punch up. She's she a real fight club lover, yeah. And weird, you experiment with strange essences, consort with rogue spirits, observe bizarre rituals or taboos. Etc. So oh, you okay. just kind of go like to one of those like weird museums. You're a goth. Or, yeah, a bit gothy. You're like a magical a goth. Bit gothy. Yeah, yeah. So I think with this one, let's roll a d8 again, which I think okay. you already have in your hands. Two. A okay, two. So it's gambling. Gambling. You crave games of chance, betting, or sporting events. Cool. Excellent. I bet. Okay. I bet Luke's character's already saddled with tons of debt. Yeah. From gambling. Yeah. So we've got a gambling, ghost punching soldier from Tycharos. Yes. Cool. So far. Finally, record your name, alias, and look. Now, in Blades in the Dark, they helpfully give you a bunch of names, suggested names, family names, and aliases there. So if you're trying to do baby names, it also doubles as like a baby name finder. If, yeah. Uh, if this is your vibe. If you would like to call your child Nail. Um, <laughs> that's the aliases though, that's the nickname. That's okay, fine. so do you want to roll for this? Um, yes, um, so... D20? One, two, three, four... Uh, there's loads of them. There's loads, yeah, okay. 20. Uh, let's do 20, get me D20. 20 me up. There you go. 17. Okay. What's the 17th name? One, two, seven, Some time eight, passes. Nine, 10, 17. Caro. C A R R O. And now what do we need? And family name. Family name. So roll again. These are, this is uh, making it a very first le first half of the alphabet heavy list. Uh, well, start from the bottom then. Let's yeah, start go from the, the bottom. bottom. Go. Family names. Uh, 13 from okay. the bottom. Remember, Luke, okay, this is your Blades in the Dark character, inescapably. Caro Pritchard. Caro Pritchard. Caro the Tycharosian ghost punching soldier mm -hmm. with a gambling problem. Mm -hmm. And you need an alias, right? You need an alias, so if okay. you can roll me another one. Hacha! 11. Okay. Seven, Counting. Eight, 9, 10, 11. Flint. But I already Ooh. know Flint. <gasps> oh my goodness. We might have discovered a backstory for one of... Oh, you know a Flint in game! I know, I know a Flint! Well, I now know we a know who Flint is! Africa Flint. It's Luke! Oh my goodness! Okay, so, looks, male presenting, female presenting, ambiguous or concealed. So if you could roll me a D4. <laughs> I that's a one. That's a one. So we go for male presenting, lovely, and looks, there's lots of things. There's affable, athletic, bony, bright, brooding, calm. So I think we roll another d20 for Lots of for physical this one. properties. Okay. Physical properties. Mm. That's a nine. That's a nine. Dark. Ooh. Dark and 
mysterious, I'd reckon. And uh, there's a whole bunch of, basically there's a lovely six by six grid of what type of outfit they would wear. And part of me wants to roll two sixes to get the column and then the row. But then also part of me has seen in the first column and the second row is eel skin bodysuit. So you just want to give him an eel skin bodysuit. I kind of want to give him an eel skin bodysuit. Well, Luke, better but start shopping. Yeah. For your eel skin bodysuit. Yeah. But should we, I think that's the kind of like the base reveal. Layer. That's the base layer. Okay. So I think we should roll a D6. For a, a secondary garment to go for over. For a secondary garment to cover All the right. eel skin bodysuit. Uh, it's a six and six. a five. And a five. Work boots. <laughs> Work boots and an eel skin bodysuit. <laughs> A dark Tykerosian soldier wearing nothing but an eel skin bodysuit. Caro Pritchard. And boots. From Tykerus, yeah. Can't wait, can't wait. Amazing. Mm. Excellent. Fan up, please. So yeah, uh, we have created possible. Luke's character. Yeah, Luke, and no getting away from like it. And like everyone else. Now you get to play it as long as Ellen, as promised, learns how to GM. Might be a while, because we've got the, the entire new series of Blades in the Dark premiering every single week, 8 p.m. UK time, and uh, available for you to watch whenever at your pleasure as well. But yeah, thank you so much for helping me, my lovely assistant Jane. You're very Rolling welcome. the dice mm -hmm. on the lovely uh, Thanks dice Vincent for the dice tray, it was very effective. Very, very, very useful. I hope you all have a lovely weekend. Go watch Blades in the Dark, more next week. <laughs>